Hi, let's quickly solve this, um, simplify this Harvard's entrance exam question. Welcome, this is JJ Online Math Class. Let's get into the business of the day. So today we are asked to solve or to simplify this, sorry, to simplify this. First of all, we know that 8 is sentence as 2 to the power of 3, right? So we can write this as 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 8, okay? Now, this is equal to, if I want to remove this 1 over, because x uh, raised to the power of minus 1 is the same thing as 1 over x. So I can take this back to this by introducing what? A negative 1 to it as the power. So if I do that, that means is that means that if I remove 1 over, I'll write this as what? 2 and introduce negative to the power. So this is the same thing as 2 to the power of minus 3 raised to the power of 1 over 8. Okay, I want us to recall this law of uh, exponents that states that a to the power of m raised to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by n, okay? So if we should compare or if we should do the same thing we did here, here, that means we are going to get that this is equal to 2 to the power of minus 3 times 1 over what? 8, okay? So this is equal to 2 to the power of minus 3 over what? 8. Perfect. Now, look at what we have here. For us to remove this minus sign, we have to introduce 1 over, right? So let's just quickly do that. So we write 1 divided by 2 to the power of 3 over 8. Perfect. Now I want to manipulate this denominator in such a way that I want to have to remove this 3 over 8. Not just to remove it. There is a way I want to do it so that I can easily simplify this. Okay. And that is the only way is to multiply the numerator and the denominator by 2 to the power of 5 over 8. And what? 2 to the power of 5 over 8. Now when I do that, I'm going to introduce a law. Oh, there is a law in exponent, exponent that says that a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n is equal to a to the power of m plus n. Okay? So if I should add this to this, I'm going to have 8 over 8, which is the same thing as 1, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Now, if this is the first time you're coming across this channel, please hit the subscription button and on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime I upload a new video. My shout out today goes to Victory in the Scriptures. May God reward you awesomely for your super thanks. Okay, thank you so much. All right, now look, look at what we have here. We can now rewrite this as what? Well, one over. So this times this, okay. Let's do it this way. This multiplied by this will give us 2 to the power of 5 over 8. And this multiplied by this, we are going to pick one base, right? And we are going to add the powers. 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8. Perfect. Now, let's bring this up here. So this is what we have. 2 to the power of 5 over 8 divided by 2 to the power of 3 over 8 plus 5 over 8. All right. Now, this is equal to 2 to the power of 5 over 8 divided by 2 to the power of 8 over 8. Perfect. All right. Now, when you look at this, notice that we've cancelled what we have here entirely and we have only 2 here because 8 divided by 8 will give us 1, right? So, when we do that, what we have is 2 to the power of 5 over 8 divided by 2. Now, in exponents or in indices, the law of indices states that a raised to the power of m over n is equal to a to the power of what? Sorry, is equal to the nth root of a, nth root of a raised to the power of m, okay? So we are going to do the same thing we did here to this particular expression. Now, this is equal to, so for our numerator, our numerator is going to be the 8 root of 2 to the power of 5, right? Okay, divided by what? 2. Now, this same thing as the 8 root of 2 to the power of 5. That is, if you multiply 5, 5 times by itself into 5 places, you are going to get 32 
divided by two. And I think this is the simplest form we can get, right? Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day.